if Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, who is currently the Earl of Wessex, married to Prince Edward, the next Duke of Edinburgh, she will join Kate Middleton and Princess Anne, as one of the few female senior members of the royal family. King Charles will choose the next generation of working royals, because he has shown a desire to reduce the size of the monarchy in the past. The Countess of Wessex, Sophie, might take on Queen Elizabeth's duty as Duchess of Edinburgh, and play a larger part in the royal family. According to rumours, Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, will reportedly inherit the Queen's title of Duchess of Edinburgh. The Countess was close to Queen Elizabeth since she spoke to her daily on the phone, and paid frequent visits. The two royal ladies had a common interest in military history, and frequently spent hours poring over old records in the royal archives at Windsor Castle. The Earl and Countess frequently spent time with the Queen by taking their dogs on walks together at their estate, Bagshot Park, which is only a short distance from Windsor Castle. Sophie Wessex was also known to address Queen Elizabeth as Mama, and it was said that the monarch supported the Countess after her mother passed away in 2005 due to stomach cancer. The Countess is renowned for her dedication to the royal family's behind-the-scenes operations, some couriers are said to refer to her as the royal's hidden weapon. The royal has already acknowledged that she struggles with royal responsibilities, but she claims that with Queen Elizabeth's assistance, she has learned to manage expectations. It took me a little while to find my feet, she said. But while performing my royal duties, I've met some amazing folks. I've learned a tremendous amount about an incredible amount of things, and now I've got this new area campaigning against war rape, which is quite difficult and quite an emotional rollercoaster, but I find extremely satisfying. The Countess is renowned for her dedication to assisting women, in addition to founding the Women's Network Forum, which encourages gender equality in the workplace, she has helped with survivors of sexual assault. Since Prince Philip wanted his title as the Duke of Edinburgh to be passed down to his youngest son, Prince Edward, it is anticipated that the Countess of Wessex will succeed him as the Duchess of Edinburgh. Although rumours surfaced last year suggesting that the new king may have changed his mind, it is believed that King Charles and his father agreed to name his brother a duke. The prince is currently the Duke of Edinburgh, and it is up to him what happens to the title, a source told the Sunday Times. Edward will not receive it. Prince Edward expressed reluctance about whether he would acquire the new title in a previous interview with the BBC, saying, it was fine in principle, decades ago when it was sort of a pipe dream of my father's naturally, it will depend on whether the Prince of Wales will carry out that duty if he assumes the throne. We'll have to wait and see, the Prince continued. So certainly, tackling it will be quite the challenge. The Telegraph reports that royal insiders believe Prince Edward will succeed to the title, because he has already assumed control of Prince Philip's popular Duke of Edinburgh Award programme. The Duke of Edinburgh's International Award Foundation's current Chairman of Trustees, Prince Edward, often awards gold awards to young people who take part in the program.